And I'm back. I'd really just rather get to the barrel, if that's all So right. would I. <coughs> Gold. Unusual. And it's flooded. Or not. Just need to take hold of it. You seek my blessing for the leadership of Thirsk Hall? I do. It is I, Bujold. You blessed me in the past, and now I've rid the Hall of Reeklings and returned it to its rightful owners. And well it is that this has happened. But I have always watched, and know that it was your softness that led to your own exile. You no, allowed your fellow I... warriors to grow weak, while the dangers around you mounted. Then, the leadership is not mine? No. Nor is there any among you fit to serve. For a band in the wilderness, it is better to have no leader than a poor one. That was a little embarrassing. You don't say. The only thing I can do, I need to return to Thirsk. No matter what Rothman says, we need a leader, and I'm still the best person for that. And look what's happened to us so far under his watchful eye. He gave his blessing to all the leaders who brought us to this point. Anyway, he's dead and we're alive. It's time to begin a new tradition for Thirsk, and I'm going to do that. All I need is for you to back me up. You don't even need to lie. Just don't tell anyone else what you heard here. I was afraid you might say that. Well, looks as though I'll have to prove my mettle against you now. By Ismir, you won't leave here alive. Okay. You're going to die here. Perhaps I should have let her, but oh well. I shall go to Fursk myself. I thought perhaps I could touch the axe and become leader, but oh well.
How do things go out there? Where is Bajold? Are you serious? How... how did she take it? Ah... I see. I hope she... fought well. Was it... did Rothmund recognize anyone else? Was it you? Is that why? Well then, I'll do my best to keep the hall together until that day comes. Now look, I understand you were just defending yourself. And because you helped us retake the hall, I'll look past it this once. But I wouldn't show my face in here again if I were you. Do we understand each other? Very well. See that you do. Uh, the place still has some of the reekling stink on it. But that'll wash out in time. Cleaning out the forge was the easy part. But those blasted reeklings made off with most of my materials. And I can't forge air. You tend to wander around, don't you? If you come across any Stalrim or Ebony in your travels, bring them back to Old Halbar. Help each other out. Hmm. I have friends in Ravenrock, and a few among the Skull. There's not much metal on the island itself, but we can find what we need, when we need it. Those things had filled it up with slop for their beasts. Elmus helped me wash it out, but the fire still smells terrible. It's not as good as it used to be, but I still am, at least. All right, then. Well, at least this place is an improvement. You, what do you want? To tell you the truth, I've been a little distracted. I've got this idea. Skyrim, I want to make a reminder, I've so we never forget what happened the last time we got soft. I want to ring the whole hall with their little spears, mocking us from the past, making us work harder, fight better. The only problem is, I'm going to need a lot of spears, a lot. So if you could find a bunch of them for me, that would make it easier. See ya. Fifty. I was able to salvage most of the latest batch of mead. The rest was... well... We lost most of the batches we had brewing when... before those things were here. One is just ready to take its turn though, and it's about time to add some of the flavorings. You can't find them on Solstein, but if you find yourself back in Skyrim, I wouldn't mind you bringing some juniper berries. They add a different kind of sweetness. Tart makes the flavor more round. Oh, perfect. Just the right ripeness, too. Good work, friend. Kuvar isn't enough to frighten me off. He makes a lot of noise, but at the end of the day, he wants what we all want. Peace and a warm drink. Enough for now, but I'll either need to get some more barrels or start importing more if we're going to make it through next winter. Last thing you want is the meat to run out just as the fire dies. Farewell. Don't want to talk to the likes of you. Well, perhaps that could have gone better, but oh well. Let's get back on track. Sacrificing the shaman to a Daedric god.
Hmm. There we are. For many years now, I have attended to Storm, learning his ways. She died when I was very young. So the dragons have returned. Well, it's the good. Skull has you must talk to Storm. Then. As shaman, he is the keeper of such lore. I have learned some of what he knows, but it is not my place to divulge anything to an outsider. You will not convince me to betray Storm's trust. Talk to him. He will decide the matter. All right. We must look to the Hermaeus Mora. Old Herma Mora himself. So he is the source of Mirak's power. Of course. We have many tales of Herma Mora trying to trick us into giving up our secrets to him. And now he comes again for what we have long kept from him. <sighs> that is our name for him. The demon of knowledge. He has always been our enemy. Ah. Ancient lore. Handed down from shaman to shaman since the All Maker first gave Soul's time to the Skull. How to talk to the wind, how to listen to the earth. These are our secrets. Nothing of power or mastery. We know him as Hermamora, the demon of knowledge. It is in his nature to hoard secrets to himself. Their value to him is of no consequence. The very fact that the Skull have kept knowledge from him has merely increased his desire to have it. So it falls to me to be the one to give up the secrets to our ancient enemy. I do not know if I have the strength to face him. The tree stone is still corrupted. The land is still out of balance. But with the other five restored, it may be enough. It will have to be. Yes. The Skull also tell of the day when we must finally give up our secrets. When Herma Mora finally wins. As shaman, it is my duty to guard these secrets, but also to decide when it is necessary to give them up. I believe that time is now. If I am wrong, may my ancestors forgive me. Give me the book. I will read it and speak to old Hermamora myself. I will make sure he lives up to his part of the bargain. That is my hope as well. I am trusting that you will make this sacrifice worthwhile. Father, you must not do this. That book is wrong, evil, against everything you have taught me my whole life. I must, Freya. It is the only way to free the source Any time you want to hit the sky, I've spent enough time on the stars the last of time. I feel it in my bones and I smell it in the air. Do not fear for me, my daughter. This is the destiny that the old maker has laid out for me. I stand beside you, Father. It makes my heart heavy. I am ready for whatever the foul master of this book has in store for me. Then I'll ask the old maker to send someone else who can. Secrets to me. Father, no, stop. I, I won't. 
dragon. You have delivered me the gift I requested. In return, I keep my promise as if it's a prince of oblivion. I give you the word of power that you need to challenge Mirak. You will be either a worthy opponent or his successor as the tides of fate to decree. Father! What have you done? Go! My father sacrificed himself so you could destroy Mirak and lift his master's shadow from the land. Go then! Kill Mirak. Do not fail. Well, at least she's on board. Good. Go! I do not blame you. I know he chose this. I just wish he had seen another way. Freya will grieve, but she will prove a good shaman. Stone taught her well. He knew she was ready to guide us in his place. Whatever that was, I trust you will make it pay for what it did to Storm. Storm was like a father to me, to all of us. Goodbye. I do not know what we will do without him. Hope we don't run into too many ash spawn out here. These are dark times. How will we get through them without Storm to guide He us? has returned to the Allmaker. He is at peace now. No matter what that evil thing may have done to his body. You will stop, whatever that was, so that the evil does not swallow the skull like it did Storm? No. A manifestation of Hermaeus Mora. That book Storm was reading. You won't forget I've read vague hints of them, but I never Walk thought to actually army. see. What does it mean? What was that? What happened to him? Freya! I'm sorry! What's our next move? Lead on! It can't be! Please, Allmaker, send him back to us! May the Allmaker guide your soul to the next life. Freya... What happened? What was that thing? I thought the village was safe now. Return to the Allmaker, old one. The Skull will never forget your sacrifice. I don't really understand what you did. But I trust you did it for the good of the village, so thank you. By the gods, I've never seen anything like it. I don't think this will go in my book. Very uh, appropriate, I guess. Read Waking Dreams.
Well, here we are. But I will save this for the next episode.